Well, I think the Olympic Games are always fascinating. I, I mean, I, I, I did it Olympic Games myself in 92, and I tried hard to do it in 84 and 88. Uh, and it's it's the ultimate dream when you're a young sailor, and it's uh, it's the biggest stepping stone in the sport. It's uh, it's such a hard event in, in sailing because you can only be one person from each country, and, and if you happen to be from a country with lots of good sailors, I mean it's incredibly tough. And uh, and obviously Rio de Janeiro, I've lived in Brazil, spent a lot of time in Brazil. I know people care about sailing in Brazil. I hope they have good conditions. I hope they clean up the water. Uh, and I think you know it's going to be a great event. I mean. What we saw in London was for me a huge step in how to communicate Olympic sailing. And I'm really looking forward to experience that again and maybe one step up from that. I have uh, some time off work and, then, uh, and that's something I've been looking, after, looking for for a long time. And uh, we're gonna go sailing a bit with the family, not racing, but you know, cruising. enjoying cruising. Uh, and and uh, yeah, I've been dreaming about that for years actually, and uh, I can't wait. So, uh, and that's one of the beauties of this sport. You can enjoy it in so many different ways. What other sport can you do? What I did in the Olympic Games when I was young, and now I can do it with my kids and my wife. I mean, that's a completely unique uh, part of our sport. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to continue to share and, and enjoy sailing for the rest of my life. I know that.